Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, we'll be using StackWrench again. This time we're doing uh, hypothesis testing with one sample and we'll be doing z-tests. Okay, so uh, one way to know that we're doing a uh, z-test is um, if they give you little sigma like they do here or they'll say um, the population standard deviation is this. Okay, so <clears throat> what we'll need to do is we need to go with this stat, Z stats, one sample with summary because this is a summary. So make sure you pick with summary. And we'll put in all of our information here. Okay, so X bar is our mean. Uh, standard deviation is our little sigma. Sample size is N. Now we're doing hypothesis tests, okay? <clears throat> so this here is our test. So that will go in here. Okay, so one of them is equals to, which means the other one has to be the opposite. So remember, your, alter your null hypothesis is always the one that has the equal sign or, or an equals to component, while your alternative is not equal to or the opposite of whatever the null hypothesis is. Okay, so once we have all the information in, go ahead and click on Compute. And there is the standardized test statistic and the p-value. Okay, <clears throat> pretty simple. Now, what if we had data? So let me pull up a problem with data in it. Okay, so here we have data. So what I'll do is I'll copy this. And since there's no titles, I don't have to worry. I can leave the, uh, <clears throat> I can select the first cell here and paste my data. Now, the thing about this one is there's commas in here. So StatCrunch thinks, oh, there must be more than one set of data. But in this case, there isn't. So make sure you select none. That'll put the number together. And we only have one set of data. Okay, so. The steps, are, is, is, the steps are going to be pretty similar, except instead of selecting with somewhere, we're going to select with data. So stat, z stats, one sample with data. Okay. So this is the column with my data. I'm going to select that. Now, <clears throat> here, they actually give us the population standard deviation. So that was the second way I said that you would know it will be a z test. So since they give us that, we need to put that in, and that goes here. So let me type that in. Okay. Now down here, you want to match your hypotheses test. So my test number is 81,000. And I want to make sure the alternative um, hypothesis matches. So I got a greater than, I'm going to select greater than. And that's it. Click on compute. Again, there's the Z statistic and the p-value. Very simple. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, my next video will be on one sample hypothesis testing, this time using the t-test. All right, see you then.